Alright, hey, what is up, YouTube? Um, so this is something a little different than what I usually do. It's a little bit more of a commentary. Uh, I'm going to go over the topic of money. A lot of people hate this topic, and really it's a good topic to go about. Um, you know, there's one thing that I've been trying to do. I've been trying to save up for a truck, and that way I could then eventually buy a quad. Wow, this is lag. I have to step out better. Now I can eventually buy a quad and uh, start racing again. That's been my one of my things I've always wanted to do, and I have raced before, but you know it's not like what I wanted it to be. So that's my dream goal, basically. And to achieve that goal, obviously I need money. Um, the thing is, though, is that being only 16, almost going to be 17, that money problem is really hard to come by. I mean, I have a job and all that, but I get paid minimal wage, and I barely work just because of the type of job it is. So I might be working maybe once a week, maybe twice a week at most. Sometimes it goes to three, but anyway, going back to the topic of money. Recently, I just built this computer. I mean, if you've been watching some of my other videos, it's a uh, AMD FX 6350 GTX uh, 660. And I love the computer, and it's a very fast computer and all that. But I basically built two computers, and I spent a crap load of money. And by crap load, I mean about $800 or so. So, it was a lot of money, and when I come to think of it, the first computer I built was decent enough. I had a good... I mean, the only bad thing in it was my graphics card and my, uh, RAM, my RAM. I had a 560 Ti, which was still good enough for gaming, and a uh, really crappy RAM. I don't know why I keep killing my teammates here. So it was good enough, and you know what? I shouldn't have upgraded it from there. I should have just got better RAM and all that. But I went ahead and basically rebuilt my entire computer. And I'm spending all this money now, and I'm like, you know, I'll work it off, I'll work it off. I get paid, all this other stuff. And, uh,. So I slowly started seeing my account diminish and all that. And it wasn't great. So, my point is, is that, you know, instead of spending all this money that I just did on this computer, when I could have had spent a fraction of the price, it would have been so much better. Because I would have saved that for my new truck and all that. But uh, that's not what I did. But one of the things that I was trying to get to is that we are so caught up by materialism in this world and people always need something and it's very annoying like you always hear like you know I work with five-year-olds the ages five to twelve a lot and these kids have iPads, iPhones, and everything like one of the one of the things I was doing while I was working it was a Chinese party and all these Chinese kids I mean just in the middle of the party they would take out their iPhones and start playing games and stuff and I'm like well, what are you doing? you know? it's sad and uh, so these kids are so caught up in materialism and all that and it's just very annoying but I mean we don't need all that materialism you could be happy with something and re recently I just started realizing that like you know after I built this computer and even before I started building it I see my mom like we're financially we're not that great we're not that great of a uh, in a great situation and I see my mom buying stuff all the time whether it be like a new shirt or shoes or something like that and I'm like why are you doing this I mean we can't afford rent as it is and you're taking it out of my account and you know I work my ass off for that money but uh I don't understand why she does that and really I was just reading a book it's called um, rich dad poor dad and when I grew up I stopped seeing my dad about six years ago I just don't want anything to do with him so I've only grown up with my mother, she had to be the father of my life and all that, and yeah, I've met some really influential people and all, but, so I never really had a father just to like, teach me about money or anything like that really, so it was all on my own, and uh, I forgot where I was going with this, anyway, so Rich Dad Poor Dad, and basically he grew up with two dads, I don't know what happened to his mom, and uh, his poor dad always told him to go and get an education and uh, work for a good company while his rich dad said go get a good, good education so he could buy a company and it's not necessarily buying a company that's important 
but it's how and what you're doing with your money. I mean, people, when it comes to money, yeah, like to be safe. They like to be on the safe side. They don't like to take risks, and I understand that. It's not, you know, it's, it's expected. Like, you have $100 only for your next week to survive. You're not going to go spend $100 on, say, a lottery ticket. That would just be stupid. But he's not talking about gambling. He's talking about, if you save $100, why don't you go out and basically buy a stock? You buy a stock and about, you know, a couple years later, it'll be worth more. It might be worth 150 200 who knows? And uh, that's what he's saying to do. Is you have to take a risk and you have to basically use your money. You can't be scared of having no money. And uh, so I was reading this and it kind of made, it made a lot of sense. And it goes with what people and materialism and all that because people, they buy stuff, they buy stuff, they get bored, they buy some more stuff, they get bored, they buy some more stuff. And now you have all that original stuff sitting in your garage, taking up space. And it's just, you know, why, why do this, you know? Um, we read it in uh, sixth, seventh grade, we read a book. It was about freegans and freeganism. Freeganism is, uh, I know it sounds funny, but freeganism is basically these people who live nothing. They might have a small apartment, but they go out into people's trash, they find food in people's trashes and stuff like that, and they live basically on $5 a week. And it's not because they're poor, it's because they choose that life. So, that just goes to show that even in today's world, you can still live with nothing. And you don't need all this fancy stuff. Like, I didn't need this computer and all that. I mean, I'm not doing schoolwork on it, that's for sure. I've only bought it for games and, uh... Games and video editing. So... Um... You know, I do have a laptop and that was bought a while ago for me for school and all that. And I do use that for school. It has all my stuff on it. But, uh... Going back to the topic of money. If I spent what I did on this computer for saving a new truck, I would have been a lot happier in the end. And it would have just been better, you know? Because that's one of my dreams, is to literally just buy a truck and go racing. And I would have wanted to race since I was five. And it just means a lot to me. So, that's my idea about money. I mean, you shouldn't be so attached to your money and be scared to lose it. Because if you are, then you're going to be caught in a life where you work, you, you wake up, you make your coffee, you go to work, you come home, you go to sleep, you wake up, you make your coffee, go to work, come home, go to sleep. And it's over and over that you keep doing this. And, you know, I was thinking about this the other day, and I'm like, why are we doing this? You know, we spend our lives getting a good education. We spend 12 years of our lives just going to high school. And then after that, we go to college for four years minimum or whatever. And then we just go into the work world for whatever you want to college. And like 40% of people or so don't even get to go to work for what they went to college for. That, those are just failed careers. And it's not because they did bad. It's just because our economy is just so bad. What we do is just not good. And I'm like, you know, this isn't right. We should, like, you go to college, you spend these hundreds of thousand dollars, you take out student loans, and now you're in debt, and you can't even go to your actual job to pay it off. There's something wrong with that, you know? And uh, so I'm thinking to myself, like, there has to be a better way around this. There has to be something that people can do to go around this. And I'm reading this book, and I'm like, you know, this was the answer that I was looking towards. I mean... He, um, Robert, the author of the book, calls it a rat race, and that's exactly what it is, because you get caught in that cycle, and it's extremely hard to get out. It's not like you just wake up and your money problems are all gone. And that's what a lot of people wish for, but that just doesn't work, really. And, uh, so I'm reading this book, and it's making a lot of sense to me and all that, and I would like to start investing and doing all that stuff, but being that I'm only 16, 17, that's a really hard thing to do, because... Honestly, you can't buy real estate at the age of 17. <laughs> you get laughed at. And it's probably also illegal, at least where I live. And uh, stocks, I think you have to be an adult to buy. So it's tough and all that. But, uh... Oops. Damn it. Well, since it just got kicked, that was my story. Um, really, it's... It's something that 
you should always be looking to. You shouldn't be holding on to your money, be greedy, and always want something. You can be happy with what you have. Now, I just completed this computer, and I'm totally happy with it. I don't plan on upgrading any more parts unless I have to. Like, I know the PSU might be going out soon because it's way overpowered, but it's not causing any problems, which means I'm happy with it. If I bought my new CPU, I bought a new fan, and I'm done. I'm not buying anything else for it. I'm happy with it. I'm not buying any more games. I have a crap load of games. And so really, all my money is just going to be saved and put towards my truck and my quad when I buy one. So quadding and racing has always been my dream. And people get caught in these rat races. I'm probably going to cut the video so I can see what I cut, whatever. But, alright. Dang. People get caught in these rat races and they wake up, go to work and all that. I just explained that. But, I mean, you have these dreams as you're a kid and you want to solve them. And you want to complete them. But it just never happens, and you're like, you know, this is something I always wanted to do. But I'm always working now just to make ends meet, just to put food on the table or something of the sort. And it's sad because not many people get to do what they want. They're, they literally just wake up and go to work. And you know, the person might say, "You love my, I love my job, I love what I do." Well, it's BS because why would you want to do that your whole life? I mean, I could be playing this game my whole life basically, and I get bored. So that's just like. That's just like that. Like, why would you want to do that? I hate that guy. You don't want to be doing something your whole life and lie to yourself and say it's fun. It's not fun. Enemy flag is I fire. mean, if you're playing a sport and you love that sport, professional professional players, for instance, they they love what they do. That's why they became professional. And also, there's a money factor in it. You get paid a crap load of money, and that's what keeps them coming to it and all that. But I mean, you get to the age, say like 50 years old you're still playing baseball that's not right like no you're you're playing for money now in other words. Package on the way. I mean yeah if you go out with your son or whatever and you go play baseball that's just because you're fun that's, you're trying to have fun with your son and all that and you still love the game but it's not because like yeah so people who say they love their jobs and they love what they do is they don't I mean I guarantee you one day they're gonna be waking up and say why the hell am I doing this you know like I should have done something completely different and, uh, so, I mean, you should be able to follow your dreams. You should be able to do what you want in life and not be stuck in just working and creating money for your family. To me, that doesn't seem right, you know? Um, I mean, I still got eight minutes here, but I'm not going to play this full time. I got pretty much everything I wanted to say. So, um, that's pretty much it, you know? That's what I was getting to is... There's there's better things out there than just to wake up and go to work. You need to learn how to use your money. You need to make your money work for you instead. And one of the things I learned from that book is probably going to take... It's a, it's a life lesson. I mean, me personally, I don't read books at all. It takes literally someone to hold me down and place a book in front of my face for me to read it. And So I was recommending that book and I'm like, hey, you know, I'll give it a shot. I mean, being in the situation that it kind of makes a lot of sense. So I read it, and it's actually the first book that I've actually read that meant a lot to me, which is pretty cool. So I recommend you guys go read that. It's uh, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. And I know I'm only going to get like a few views in this video. I really don't care, though. It's still in your freaking mall. Whatever. Um, hope you enjoyed this, and if you want more videos like this, let me know in the comments. I'm probably not going to get any comments, but whatever. Um, doing these types of videos, if you haven't... If you haven't uh, wondered, I do monetize on my videos and I do get make money that way. Something very little. You know, it takes about four months to get a check in the mail. So it takes a while. And obviously playing games like this, I don't get any monetization rights. I'm not allowed to monetize. Uh, so this is just by free will of just scanning my rant out and uh, all that. So I apologize for the video being so long. If you stuck around, congratulations. Hope you understand what I'm trying to say. Maybe it's changed something in your life. Make, maybe make you do something different, Enemy spy change something up a little bit. Not then, whatever.